We just saw a video about how the hopper topper works, and now we have the inventor in studio with us. It's Santosh Arakat. He's president of this new company, Hopper Topper. So tell me a little bit, how did this all come to be? This is a great idea. A uh, few years ago, um, I was looking for a simple solution you know, to clean up all the yard waste. And so I went out to the stores, and what I could find was uh, a big plastic canister-like thing with a funnel. And another product that I found was uh, something made out of cardboard uh, that you had to insert into the bag. It required a little bit of assembly. Uh, the problem with both of these products was that it took up space in the garage. And mm -hmm. for any homeowner, garage space is precious. So. It is. So I figured I had to invent something myself. Um, went down to my basement with a roll of craft paper, some aluminum foil, tape, scissors, pencil. And chewing gum? Any chewing gum in there? <laughs> no, no, no chewing gum, but you know, just came up with a prototype of uh, what eventually became the Hopper Topper uh, uh, lawn and leaf bag funnel. So Exciting. And then you took that one step fur further and you got a patent. Yes, I did. Um, you know, this was uh, around Thanksgiving time, 2009, when I first, uh, you know, designed the prototype, and I realized right away that I had something unique mm -hmm. and that's patentable. So I went ahead and filed for an application, and waited for about two or three years uh, until I got the patent issued before I decided to go ahead and commercialize it. So. Wow, that's exciting. Yeah, I think it's a really great idea. I do my own yard w work, and I struggle all the time with keeping. The, the yard waste to go in the back and not surround the back. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. And now, and the thing that excited me about Hopper Topper was it is so lightweight. So we have one here, and you can, can you show me how it, it pops open? Yeah, absolutely. Can... And you actually have what it looks like, like in a package. Right. So when I go and... to the store right. and I'm cruising down the aisle, you know, I can take a quick peek at this. Yeah. But when I take it out of, out of the package, this is essentially what it looks like. And all one has to do, it's fully assembled. So you just open it up. This is what it looks like. Uh, you just have to push out the four corners and bend the flaps right on the crease. And so it ends up looking like a funnel, like right. uh, what you're looking at here. And to use it, all you have to do is just squeeze on the creases on the side and insert it into the bag. You don't need any additional help or... Uh... Right, it, it, it's, it's so simple. And the thing that strikes me is that it is so sturdy, but yet it's incredibly lightweight. And exactly. I would, I would expect, and, and, and I don't know about you, but I, I put a lot of stuff in my bag. So those bags are already heavy. I don't need to add any other heavy thing on to it. Right, and, and part of the reason was just so that the bags don't collapse um, on the weight of adding something mm -hmm. else on top of it. So right. that was all done by design. And you'd also notice that it only goes in a few inches into right. the bag. And so that really allows you to pack down the bag. So fewer bags, fewer stickers. So. The, whole, the whole thing, right. Exactly. I've Ex thought through all of that. That's good. <laughs> I, I appreciate you thinking about this. Now, tell me, where can I, can I get one of these? Well, clearly, you can go to our website, mm -hmm. which is hopper-topper.com, mm -hmm. and uh, order from there. Or uh, all the Bukema A stores. Uh, there's about seven Bukema mm -hmm. Ace stores in our neck of the woods. Mm -hmm. um, Douglas Ace also in Naperville. And Wanamakers in Downers Grove. So those are the places where you can buy them right now. Right, so you could go out on a Saturday when you're doing this and go buy them here. Yep. Or you can, when you're thinking about it at night, you come across it, you can order it online. And that's exactly what people do. <laughs> it, it is exactly it, because a little bit you're motivated in the spur of the moment, you want to go get a hopper topper because it'll make life easier. Um, and it's it's really designed to be reused. Yes. So you could probably get maybe a half a season out of this, or, or maybe you know depending well, depending I, on how much. I have a really big yard. You would typically, I think, uh, a typical household might need two or three for an entire season. Mm -hmm. um, you can get anywhere from ten to thirty uses out of a single one. It all depends on the user. You know, I mean, right. how how they treat this thing. Right. Uh, it is designed to be biodegradable right down to the ink on, awesome. on the hopper topper so, uh, and compostable also. That's awesome. But yeah, it's quite sturdy, made out of uh, very high quality corrugated paper. So That's so neat. Yeah. And now you've, you've got this rolling and you're an ideas guy, I can just tell. And so you've already thought of a, a new product called the hopper bag. Yes, that's correct. Actually, in 2009, when I first invented what eventually became the hopper topper, um, there was another product, uh, I said, gee, you know, I wonder if it would be nice to have a bag with a built-in funnel. Mm -hmm. And so um, 
that was the other product where, you know, it's just like your typical lawn and leaf bag sold mm -hmm. in five packs, and you just op open it up, push out the corners, and uh, you have a built-in funnel in every bag, and that's the hopper bag. So that's the next move, and yeah. then getting things expanded on a national basis. That's right. So we do have a full sales team, and um, I'll be at the National Hardware Show early next month, and... Um, so uh, all that is in process to get this product in the hands of a nationwide audience. Well, I think it's a great idea, and I, I think you've got something, and I would predict very soon we're all going to drive by and see people out in their yard, and they're going to have one of these on all their lawn bags. Yeah, that would be wonderful. So thanks for stopping by Business Connection and telling us all about it. It was really nice to meet you. Thank you very much. We're going to be right back with more Business Connection.